Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to use a store procedure with multi-value parameter in SSRS report. So the major part of the this video is going to be how to create a, a store procedure that can accept multiple values. So let's go ahead and create a store procedure and understand what exactly we need to do. Here is my select query that is uh, getting some uh, columns and uh, we have sales sales uh, person first name last name and uh, item sold and uh, other uh, columns such as country region uh, and we're getting this data from a total sale table and it is in the sales uh, database uh. so if I run this one it is returning me a lemon records uh, to make it a uh, multi-value if you guys remember we have to write a where clause uh, so we write where and uh, I am uh, looking forward to use the region as my parameter and I will say region in uh, and uh, that's why we will say Asia comma then we provide other value let's have single quotes around it and uh, Europe and uh, now we can go ahead and run this uh, query it is going to return us the results uh, or records uh, for Asia and Europe as uh, we have provided the values here in the in the clause now the problem is uh, when uh, we will accept multi values uh, from the uh, SSRS report parameter it is going to return us something like this uh, Asia and uh, Europe so if we will put these values here in the in clause uh, it is going to fail it will not return anything to us uh, because uh, you don't have Asia with the single quotes around here you don't have Europe with the single quotes around here so that's the problem we have to build this store procedure and take the same values let's say these are the values coming in we need to make them something like this so people has different ways to do it uh, some people take these values uh, as it is uh, and create a function uh, and uh, that function will uh, be used here in the uh, right here so they will use as an inner query and uh, that will uh, uh, parse this one as a uh, as another table so this will return Asia Europe uh, and uh, oh, they, that's uh, the way to do it I mean they, they can use functions here but in my case uh, I, I had been thinking like we can use a function but then I said okay let me use the dynamic SQL so dynamic SQL is another way to do it so let's take this value and uh, start uh, building our store procedure so let's first of all we have to say create procedure sorry um, okay so create procedure and procedure name so we can call this one SP total sale and uh, then uh, we have a parameter in this case I'm going to call this one region and worker and uh, let me make it 500 and now we say as and then we say begin and then at the end we have to say let's remove this part we don't need this uh, uh, we are gonna use something here and now we say end as of now we don't have anything here I'm gonna use this query as a dynamic so once I have the region as remember we are going to get the region as Asia comma so we will be getting something like Asia comma Europe but that's all uh, we will be getting uh, in North America let's say another so there are three values we are getting this is what we are going to get uh, what I want to do I'm going to replace this one uh, with the something uh, with the single quotes and comma together so I'm going to place something like this uh, so I can build this uh, entire thing uh, and uh, each comma will be replaced uh, by these single quotes on the each side uh, and then at the end uh, I will go ahead and here I will put that uh, single quotes uh, in left and right uh, so let's uh, create some variable so I'm going to call this one uh, declare at the rate I, let me call this one war uh, region and it is war char 500 and now we have to set uh, I'm setting the value of this one so war region I'm saying okay is equal to then here and I will be saying replace uh, and uh, replace what so region this region I want to replace uh, and uh, here if you see that uh, I will go ahead and say comma and uh, I want to replace this uh, value what we are going to get as a normal so what we want to do we want to replace with the here I will say replace a comma with the and uh, I will put comma here and then other three colons here and parentheses is closer so let me co uh, comment this uh, 
So right now, we don't have think about this is a just a commented part. It's not uh, contributing in the store procedure. So if I could go ahead and print this value and run the store procedure, you can see this uh, very clear what I'm doing here. So if I will say print and this one, now let's pass. Uh, let's create the store procedure as it is. We are doing step by step, by step thing and let's execute this store procedure. And I'm going to say execute. And if I will pass these values uh, here with the just as it is let me remove this part now if i will pass this uh, value you will see what exactly happen these uh, commas will be replaced uh, with the comma and the single quotes around it so let's uh, uh, run the store procedure with this input and we can see that so i have printed these values so we have a single quotes around all of them but we are missing single quote at the end and beginning that we are going to use the next so let's uh, declare another sql variable we are going to say uh, declare other sql and watcher so we can save our query and th this can be max or 2000 whatever you would like uh, depending on your query size now this one take this part and uh, let's set this value so now we are going to say set at the red SQL, we are preparing our complete query with the uh, by using this uh, at the region uh, parameter with the single quotes, uh, so it can run uh, and uh, give us the required uh, result. Uh, so this one will be equal to, and you put single quotes here, and then you come here all the way, and uh, then here we need to put. Uh, remember, we are missing uh, uh, one single quote uh, right here that we need to put. Uh, so I'm going to use. Uh, three single quotes plus sign here so the two of them is going to be kind of put one single quote here and then we will be using uh, this var region uh, variable that we have used as we have replaced this uh, single quotes multiple uh, quotes around it and uh, single quote so that's going to take care of it and now we have plus sign uh, and then uh, you need uh, another three and the uh, parentheses close and single one now if I run this, uh, let's uh, take this uh, select uh, variable and print this. Uh, so we want to see what it is going to return us. Uh. Now, if I go ahead and alter this store procedure, and now let's see what happened. Though it is done, and uh, let's uh, run this one with the values. Uh, and right now we are not executing anything. We are just running it. So the very first uh, we pass the value. It was. Uh, uh, replace with single quotes uh, and uh, with comma now this is our final query we have select query and in and you can see that each value is uh, surrounded by those single quotes uh, so it is used as a string so we are good now and the uh, next part is that we just need to do one thing uh, we say execute and say at the rate uh, sql and let's uh, remove this uh, print we don't need print anymore and uh, it was just to sh show you guys uh, like our store procedure how we are working on this one and also uh, remove this print and now go ahead and alter your uh, procedure what happened now let's go back here say execute uh, here is the parenthesis missing that's fine let's put the parenthesis and uh, now we are good and run this st store procedure and now you see all those results are coming if i will go ahead and remove the north america now i should see only the results uh, for Asia and Europe. So this is the way we will be writing our store procedure. We will be handling a simple string uh, and uh, we need to handle uh, in this way it can be used as a string values uh, in the in clause. Now we are all good here. I will have this script uh, in the post as well and you can check the description and uh, you can copy for yourself. Let's go ahead and create a report now. So if we go ahead and create a report in here we need a shared data source uh, that's pointing to our sales database. Uh, so we have it if you don't have it you can go ahead and create one and uh, now click on the reports uh, and go to add once you are in the add a new item and here create an empty report uh, we call this one uh, multi value parameter store procedure multi value parameter sp we are good now here on the data source tab right click here add your data source so you can create the embedded one that will be local to the report but we can use the shared one as we are pointing to the same database the other reports are and we have it so why not to use it and uh, i hate this when i do it all the time and i have to rename it uh, i like 
to have a nice name for this one so always uh, put a nice name for your data sources and data now go ahead and create a, a data set uh, right click on the data set add data set uh, and here we are going to name this one d set uh, sale total and select a uh, use data set embedded in the report and we are selecting the data source here now click on the store procedure and then select your store procedure and hit ok once you do it uh, you should be able to see the fields here in the data set and the parameter so we see the parameter but we do not see the fields uh, so there is something wrong with this uh, store procedure and in my case what I'm thinking maybe store procedure is not correct uh, so let's go ahead and run the store procedure in SSMS and what we see it is returning uh, the results uh, so looks good um, let's uh, take a look in the query designer if we go to the query designer and here run our store procedure it uh, it should run fine so we can take a look and it is running just fine so there is some uh, issue so what wh what I was trying to figure out uh, I have taken the same store procedure I ran on my laptop and it was just working fine to be straightforward with you guys and then uh, uh, I'm also on that laptop I'm using um, SQL Server 2014 I'm using uh, SSDT SQL Server data tools there is uh, no really difference I feel that and uh, this is Windows 8 on this machine I'm also using the same thing but I can't see the fields so that's a there is some problem and uh, what is happening I don't see even uh, uh, the, the, on the database level I have uh, something different going on like some settings but uh, anyways uh, with the I some uh, I did some research and uh, I found out okay there could be scenarios where dynamic SQL can give this problem so if you are using a lot of dynamic SQL you you might uh, encounter this uh, type of issues so I, I see that in the query designer report uh, the store procedure is running just fine in SSMS it is running fine but the reporting uh, services are not able to get those fields uh, from the store procedure so what one thing uh, I was thinking like if uh, I will give the select query at the end uh, and uh, that's how maybe make uh, the life easy for reporting services uh, and uh, l l let's say we do some extra work and uh, uh, by doing it if uh, that, that just work fine for reporting uh, and uh, that will help so one thing we can do here we can uh, put these uh, result set in the temporary table and then use the select query at the end and let's see if that will work so I'm gonna go ahead and say into and say temp table so now we are putting the result set in the global temp table the dynamic SQL runs its own session so if I will put in the temp uh, local the say once the session will be done it will be not available in after after the execute so that's why one reason I'm putting in the global temper and here it will be available till we have this session open so it is it is going to be open this uh, uh, even after the execute of SQL so I'm gonna go ahead and say select star from temp table and also as uh, the store procedure will read on multiple times uh, and if it will create one time the temp table it will be available so it will start giving us an error so we need to drop this table at the end once we are done with the selecting uh, the records so drop table now we are good let's go back here alter our store procedure let's take a look run our store procedure a couple of times just to make sure it is coming fine yeah it is working now come back to the SSDT SQL Server data tools hit OK and even uh, I, I have to refresh fields let's say now we hit OK fine no big deal now still I don't see the things uh, refresh field let's provide some value and see if that that will bring the fields so let's see okay so that did work and uh, we once we provide uh, Asia as a variable uh, value it uh, brought those fields for us so, so you can delete and then recreate it and uh, that should work fine and uh, this work for my case scenario there would be scenarios maybe it would not work for you I'm I can't assure you with dynamic SQL okay this is the best way to do it but uh, if you can can do without dynamic SQL that's another way uh, remember I was telling you uh, you can go ahead and maybe write a function 
and then use that function here you don't have to use dynamics equal you will be just selecting everything from here and then uh, here you will be using that uh, function and providing this uh, as an input uh, parameter to that function that will be a uh, string uh, function that will take the values uh, such as this one and convert to the uh, table so you can use that one and uh, I, I thought okay the dynamics equal is the one way to do it why not uh, to give a try and show you guys so that's fine let's go back here now we are all done here let's insert the table uh, and uh, bring the fields on second field and uh, I'm gonna bring the region just to so show if uh, things are coming in the right direction and the uh, report is working so let's go back and give us some background color let's expand a little bit so we see our beautiful report okay now here we can see that uh, it is a, a parameter and uh, we can put some value in and it is returning us the records so let's go back and make it a multi value parameter so right click here parameter properties and allow multiple values now if we preview our report it can accept multiple values but we don't want to write those values I would recommend go ahead and provide those those values by the query so I'm gonna go ahead and right click add a data set and now I will be saying a D set and I will say region I'm going to select the distinct values for the region and here we'll use the embedded data set okay select distinct region from DBO sale total I, I hope this is the right uh, table name okay that's correct name and uh, we can take a look from here this is the same table from where we are selecting every record but uh, in a, for our parameter we are selecting only the region so we are good here let me go back and now we go to the parameter again right click parameter properties and available available values so now we are getting the values from the query fine provide the data set name here the D, D set region and value field is region and label field field is also re region so label is something that you're going to see in the drop down if you have multiple columns one you can use for the value and the value will be passed to the query and label will be just uh, there in the drop down so you can see the the field uh, how they look uh, in the parameters let's let's assume that if we have a, uh, eu in a value in one of the column and uh, as uh, in the value and uh, na as a value so these are short uh, region names and uh, we we have them as a value and uh, in the label field maybe there is another column in the table called north american region and say okay european region and uh, asian region so those that that uh, big dist descriptive column can be used as a label and the other column can be used as a value so hit okay preview the report and now click here we can go ahead and select Asia and it should show us the results or records for Asia we are fine here let's go back and select Asia and Europe so two of them and now we are seeing Asia and Europe records and let's go ahead and select all of them and take a look so in this case we are seeing all the results uh, coming correct uh, so this is how you will be creating uh, a multi-value parameter uh, and a store procedure and uh, use that uh, in your SSRS reports uh, thanks very much uh, for watching this video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video